Hi, my name is Vineet, and I'm going to show you how data flow programming works in LabVIEW. If we look over to the computer here, I've already started with a front panel, and I've got two objects dropped down. I've got a slider control, and I've got this thermometer display as well. I was able to get this thermometer display from the controls palette by right-clicking on the front panel and going to numeric indicators, and you can see here's where I, where I actually dropped it down from. Well, if I wanted to pass data between the slider and the thermometer, I can look over to the block diagram and just wire from one terminal to the other. Depending on where I hover over, you can see the wiring tool appear, and I can just click once and wire over to the thermometer, click again. And now data can flow across that wire, and when I hit run, you can see the corresponding value then display on the thermometer. I can adjust the slider and hit run again, and uh, I know that I'm able to pass data from one object to the next. Well, if you notice, I've got this labeled as temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit, and then the thermometer in temperatures in degrees Celsius. Well, what's the equation in order to uh, convert between the two? Let's, let's write a simple program in order to, to implement that. I'm going to break the wire that I've got here, and I'm going to right-click on the block diagram, and I'm going to go to the numeric palette. I'm actually going to tack that down, and move this over to the side, and I'm just going to drop down three main mathematical functions here, a subtract, a multiply, and a divide. If you remember from chemistry class, the way that you convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius is by subtracting the Fahrenheit value by 32 and then multiplying by 5 ninths. So let's program that right here. I'm just going to wire from this temperature slider over to the subtraction function. I'm then going to wire the output of that over to the input of the multiplication function and I'm going to wire the multiplication function over to the thermometer display. Next, I'm going to take this division function and wire this into the multiplication. And by right-clicking on the input terminals, I can, right from here, create constants. So I'm just going to drop down constants for all the rest of the terminals here. And then I can plug in the right numbers for my equation. So I'm just going to go through and create constants. Now, if you remember, it's 32 for the subtraction. And then it's 5 ninths. So I'm going to type in 5. I'm going to type in 9. Now, the way that operations execute in LabVIEW is a little different than maybe some other traditional language that you might be familiar with. In textual languages, things tend to go sequentially from top to bottom, depending on the order that they're, that they're written in lines of text. With LabVIEW, it's all based on how things are wired together, and that's called data flow programming. So, for example, this multiplication function is not actually going to execute until it's got its data from the subtraction function and the division function. The division function, of course, is going to wait to get all its data from the constants, and, uh, and then this thermometer isn't going to update until that multiplication is complete. One way that we can visualize that and the flow of data through the wires is by using this button called Highlight Execution. This button slows things down a little bit, but it allows you to see how values are passed from one node or object to the next. So now I've got this set up. I'm going to go ahead and hit Run, and you can see my LabVIEW program execute. In this case, I, was, I had 39 degrees Fahrenheit in there, and that's pretty cold. And you can see that the thermometer it now reads almost 4 degrees Celsius. So let's move this up to 80 degrees. I'm going to hit Run again. And here you can see that the multipl multiplication function, let me try that again, and, and watch this multiplication function as I hit Run. You can see this one doesn't actually output anything until all the data is available at its terminals. And then it then updates the thermometer. Of course, when we turn this off and then hit Run, it updates a lot more instantaneously, and I can see my conversions happen that way. So that's how data flow programming works in LabVIEW.